Hi everyone, welcome. This is Dr. Mike. We are here at the Hong Kong AIDS Foundation with our guests, Jason and Crystal. Good morning. Good morning. We are talking about AIDS or HIV. Would you want to tell us the difference between AIDS or HIV or in AIDS? So basically, what we call HIV is the acronym of a human immune immunodeficiency virus, and uh, it's the, basically it's the virus that can uh, affect our uh, immune system. Um, so the virus would attack our uh, what we call the CD uh, CD4 T cell. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it would affect our immunity. Yes, okay. yes. So uh, when the person is being affected, the immunity would uh, drop, would go down. So basically, uh, the person can easily uh, be affected by other disease or cancers. Mm -hmm. So um, ACE is another, uh, is basically is the ongoing uh, process. So, so it's the same virus? Yeah, it's the same virus. Okay. But in the, uh, so most people would be, would just be an uh, ACE carrier, uh, mm. sorry, the HIV uh, virus carrier. carrier. And until the CD4 comes, drop below uh, 200. Mm. So um, then that means well, the person would develop to ACE. Ah, yeah. so at least it's nice that we could clarify this because most of our viewers watching this, they thought that they are two different uh, entity, two different virus. How about the transmission before we jump into the other one? We will say there's mainly three ways of transmitting uh -uh. HIV. The first one is the blood contact. Blood contact, the, the blood. first one. Okay. As maybe if you handle the wounds without protection, without mm -hmm. the gloves, if he is a HIV carrier, and then you may have the risk of getting, getting. the okay. HIV. So that's blood. Okay. Yeah, that's blood. And the uh, second one is the most common one is the sexual contact. If you don't have any protection measures for having sex, and then you may have the chance of uh, getting in touch with uh, the others uh, uh. body fluid or the vaginas uh, fluid mm. or so transplacental is also included yes. you may so have okay. the chance the chance and the last one is from mother to children mm -mm. and the children may get the hiv uh, maybe when the mother is pregnant mm -mm. when uh, the baby is still in the mother's uh, uh, the yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and and maybe during the uh, uh, giving birth, birth the process or even after giving birth uh, the baby is safe but uh, he get the HIV from oh. breastfeeding. So there are some misconceptions uh, regarding HIV. Can you acquire HIV uh, by kissing uh, or using the utensil? Like I mentioned, there are many free ways of contact that can transmit yes. HIV. And like you mentioned, kissing or maybe there's a saliva, actually that won't pose any risk mm -hmm. of getting HIV. Yeah. Forget to tell the symptoms. Can you mention some of the symptoms? How would we know that yes. We have uh, HIV. Actually, most of the people, they do not have symptoms if they oh. uh, have the HIV. Mm -mm. Like you mentioned, less than 50% of the people, they may have some fever-like symptoms, mm -mm. but that's too common. Oh, yes. Because if your immune system is weak, but not causing by the HIV, you may easily uh, have fever or coughing, but we can't regard that as kind of symptoms mm -hmm. so we will uh, suggest all the people if they in doubt that they have the HIV they should go for a test, test. rather than rather than checking all the symptoms mm -hmm. and the test is hello hello Hong Kong AIDS Foundation hi um, thank you for calling to our helpline Oh, ito na ang five, oh, fifth, fifth floor? Lord, ah, right? Oh, yeah, ito, ito, oh. Oh, oh okay. okay, sige, okay. Oh, ito na nga, oh, oh, oh yeah, na? oh, sige. Uh, ito na, oh. Oh, yun, yun, ito na, okay. Hi. Uh, this is Dora, mm -hmm. and uh, you My are friend. your friend. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, right, uh, because of the uh, coronavirus, so let me measure uh, okay. your temperature first. Yes? Right, uh, so... Uh, could you provide me your uh, testing number, please? Dora, you are the person who come for the testing, right? Yeah. And you are the friend. My, yeah, it's, my okay. Friend. Yeah. So uh, because um, we need to keep the uh, keep it confidential, okay. uh, so would you mind to, to uh, just wait for Dora here yes. uh, for the moment, and I will take Dora to the testing room. Okay. 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 Right. Hi. Uh, this is our testing room. Okay. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please uh, come Crystal, in. I'll leave um, Dora okay, to you. Thank okay, you. thank Please you. Thank you. Take a seat. 
Hello, welcome to Hong Kong AIDS Foundation and I'm Crystal. I'm Dora. Yes, uh, before we have the HIV test, I will do a simple risk assessment for you first. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, please first give me your testing number. Um, RT8695. Yes, RT8695. Uh, are you working in Hong Kong? Yes. So we will have the test now. Uh, let me explain uh, what's this for you. This one is the alcohol pad. And after we uh, clear the finger, we will put on the needle to get some blood. Just two needles, uh, the glass needle blood. And then after that, I will put this uh, to your wood. And I will, uh, this is the tester. This one is the HIV test. And this one is the syphilis test and hepatitis C. So after I get the blood from you, I will put the blood into this free tester. And we can read the result after 15 to 20 minutes. high-risk behavior especially to come for uh, testing every three, three months okay. yeah. but otherwise well uh, to come back uh, every year for a regular test okay. yeah okay thank, thank you, you so much, much. Bye. Bye. thank you bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.